House destroyed by fire in Grafton. Plea hearing set for Sheboygan man accused in infant's death. Coffee with the cop coming up again here in Sheboygan. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, December 5th, 2019. Fire destroyed a home in Grafton on Wednesday, but no one was injured. It started just before 5 p.m. at a home located on 585 High Bluff Drive. According to the Grafton Fire Department, something in a bedroom was apparently ignited by a fireplace. Officials say the family inside tried moving the burning items outside, but the high winds just made the fire spread. There were no injuries to the family or to the firefighters, but there were cats inside and officials are not sure if they made it out safely. The house is considered a total loss and the fire is considered accidental. A plea hearing is set for next week in the case of a Sheboygan man accused of killing an infant. 19-year-old Andrew Stevens Walker is accused of causing the injuries that led to the death of a five-month-old baby last May. He was arrested shortly after Sheboygan police were called out to a home near 11th Street and Indiana Avenue. Following a report of an infant not breathing, according to authorities, Walker initially told police that the baby had fallen. Despite his claim, an autopsy later revealed that the death to, to be a homicide. Walker is charged with neglecting a child with consequence of death. His plea hearing is set for Monday. The Sheboygan Common Council has voted to turn off the power to the storied Sheboygan Armory, citing hazardous conditions that threaten the safety of anyone who needs to enter the building. The armory, built in 1941 by the Works Progress Administration, has been progressively decaying. Now a high water table and leaking roof have led to a deteriorating structure and mold so severe that hard hats, goggles, and respirators are required for entry. Flooded basement electrical facilities were so hazardous that the power disconnect was essential. Over the years, proposals seeking to redevelop and repurpose the building have failed. And now the city is now working to remove the armory from the National Register of Historic Places so demolition can move forward. The Sheboygan Police Department wants to have a conversation with you. Any Thing you say can and may be used to improve things for everyone. This year's final Coffee with a Cop is an opportunity for a friendly exchange of ideas between law enforcement officers and those they serve. The popular series of low-key get-togethers serves to strengthen the ties between public and police, to promote understanding and sometimes just to share the gift of the gab. Union Cup at 12th and Union Avenue will host the final event of the year from 8 until 9.30 a.m. Wednesday or next week on Wednesday. Alliant Energy is asking students who think big and give back to apply for their 2019 innovation scholarships. Up to 25 $1,000 scholarships will be awarded to students based upon their essay that identify a problem in their community and then present an innovative solution using STEM subjects. That's science, technology, engineering, and or math. The applicants' leadership in community services and volunteering, GPA and standardized test scores will also be considered. The 2019 Innovation Scholarships are for first-time undergraduate studies, enrollees 24 and under who are either dependent children of a current Alliant Energy customer or a customer themselves. The application deadline is February 17th. And finally, business attorneys from three Sheboygan County employers teamed up to host the first Wills for Heroes clinic in the county. 
About 12 attorneys from Johnsonville, Kohler, and Sargento prepared for more than 36 estate plans for the first responders and their spouses from the law enforcement departments in Kohler, Sheboygan Falls, Plymouth, and Sheboygan County. The pro bono clinic was held December 4th at Johnsonville's main campus in Sheboygan Falls. Johnsonville attorney Nate Ganfield says he reached out to his peers at Sargento and Kohler Company about collaborating on a clinic locally adding that both organizations showed no hesitation and were thrilled to partner on this. It's obvious we all share the same values and approach to helping our communities, said Ganfield. The legal teams from all three companies contacted the police departments in Kohler, Plymouth, Sheboygan Falls, and Sheboygan County Sheriff's Departments, notifying them of the clinic and inviting signups. All available openings were filled quickly. A similar clinic for local fire departments is also in the works for spring 2020, said Havek. Wills for Heroes is a nonprofit program that began after the 9-11 attacks. Designed to provide free basic estate planning documents in a clinical se setting for emergency personnel to protect themselves and their families. The Wisconsin Wills for Heroes program launched in 2009 and is sponsored through the State Bar of Wisconsin. Since its inception, the Wisconsin Wills for Heroes program has completed over 200 clinics and provided free basic estate plans to thousands of first responders. The Sheboygan County effort was also the first clinic held at a corporate headquarters, as most clinics are held at police departments or fire stations. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.